The camp had been growing on one of Denver's busiest corners for weeks. This is what it looked like Tuesday afternoon, right in front of the state capitol. Health department is closing the park to deal with the, the rodent issue here. This is Wednesday morning when all was said and done. No tents, trash, drugs, pets or homeless people remain. Some of other people, they lost their jackets, their clothes, their tents. They lost a lot. There, there are people that are going to be freezing. Kayla Malloy says she lived in that camp for a couple of days and that it's a community she depends on. We have each other. It's easier to say, oh, we'll take care of each other. And Tonight, the camp is fragmented. Malloy says she doesn't know where everyone will end up. It's rough. It's rough being out here. After the city's latest high profile removal of a homeless camp, a camp that grew after a judge ruled Denver's camping ban unconstitutional, that it amounts to cruel and unusual punishment. The city's approach to enforcement of the camping ordinance has been both judicious and compassionate. We take a shelter first services approach and try to cite only as a uh, last resort. Denver City Attorney Christian Bronson said the judge got it wrong, that the city is in good legal standing in preventing people from camping. So she's allowing the police department to continue enforcement later this week. Officers will again be required to first offer services to campers and then force them to pack up and move along. And we've cited very few people and there's a reason for that. And the reason is because this ordinance works in that most of the time we're able to ensure compliance or we're getting someone directly connected to services and shelter where we we drive them uh, to the shelter at times. The camping ban is just one tool the city uses to keep people from camping. There are cleanups like today's. There are park curfews, trespassing laws, and rules about keeping sidewalks clear. Rules that will be enforced, camping ban or not. We're in such a vulnerable situation, which is being out on the streets. And so even having a tent is a blessing. In Denver, Ryan Harrow, 9 News. And Bronson says she expects legal challenges after the city continues the camping ban. However, she says she's confident that another judge could have a different view on the appeal.